All right, the next step, we've gone through calibration, we've gone through why we're aligning trucks, we've talked about tire wear and handling, now we want to know how to measure a truck. The first step in measuring a truck is to make sure you've got the vehicle in a position that's accurate for measurement. If you bring it up in a sharp turn, the axles walk through the turn and they're not accurate. If you stomp on the brakes, it spreads the toe in the front end. If you back the vehicle up, everything shifts in the wrong direction. So we want to drive the truck in straight, roll it to an easy stop, and once you're stopped, set the parking brake so it doesn't move. Don't jack it up, don't move it. Now we're going to measure. We start by putting a target against the bottom center of the steer tire with a zero measurement against the tire. Take that up there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to hang the laser on the drive axle to get a measurement. So I'll take the laser, grab the straps, put it against the tire, and then put the strap over the top of the tire. Now, the strap should be down at about 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. The front of the bar should be about even with the front of the rim. The bottom bar should be about even with the bottom of the rim. Turn the laser on and then adjust it up or down until the laser hits the target. On this side we have a three inch measurement. Now there's one more thing I need to check before we move to the other side. I need to make the first measurement to see if this axle is off center. So if I can borrow your tape, put the tape against the frame, hold it with your finger, bend it down and sight down the outside of the side wall of the tire. And this one is at 31 and 3 quarter inches. Now if the other side matches that within a quarter of an inch, the axle is in the center enough to be happy with it. If it's more than a quarter inch off, we'll adjust the center before we can move on. Now we're going to move around to the other side. To get started measuring the rears, we've got the laser set up on the other side shooting to the front. We now need to set the laser up on this side shooting to the front. So if somebody put this against the steer tire with a zero measurement against the tire. You take the laser, kind of like a kid in a swing. Put it against the side of the tire, bring the strap over the top. Bring your straps down to 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock, bottom of the bar at the bottom of the rim, front of the bar at the front of the rim, turn the laser on and tilt it up or down until the laser hits the target. Now on this side you can see we've got 3 and a half inches. Now we need to finish measuring the off center to make sure that's correct. So if I can borrow your tape, put it against the frame, hold it with your finger, bend it down, and I've got 31 and 3 quarter inches here. We had 31 and 3 quarter over there. So this axle is in the center. That side laser measurement measured 3 inches. This side measures 3 and a half. So this axle is going to the right a half inch in the length of the truck, which is right where we'd like it. It pushes the truck to the left. Now we need to measure the other axle to see where it's going. Put it against the tire, put the strap over the top. You want your straps at 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, front of the bar, front of the rim, bottom of the bar, bottom of the rim then tilt it up or down until the laser hits the target. Now this one's reading about three and a quarter inches. We need to move to the other side and we'll see what the measurement is over there. Before we do that, we should check the off center. We want to make sure that the axles are in the middle of the truck. And on this side we've got 29 inches. So we'll go to the other side and see what we've got over there. Alright, now we're going to move the lasers forward on this side of the truck to the second axle. You notice if you pick it straight up, it comes right off. Put the bar against the tire, strap over the top. Make sure you're 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Bottom of the bar at the bottom of the rim. Front of the bar at the front of the rim. And then tilt it up or down until the laser hits the target. We have 2 and 3 quarter inches on this side. On the other side, we had 3 and 1 quarter inches. So this axle is going a half inch to the right. And we want it a half inch to the left. So this axle is thrusting wrong. Now we need to finish the off-center measurement to make sure that that's not confusing us. So if I can borrow your tape, we'll measure from the frame to the outside of the tire. The other side was 29 inches, and this side is 29 inches. So the axle is actually centered. We're pretty much done measuring the rear end of the truck now. We know that the rear axle is properly centered and is aimed to the right a half inch like we'd like. The front axle is centered, but it's aimed a half inch right and we want it a half inch left. We're now ready to move to the front of the truck and check up there. So I'm going to take this laser, move to the front end, put the bar against the tire, strap over the top. Once again, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, front of the bar at the front of the tire, bottom of the bar at the bottom of the rim. Turn the laser on and we're using the cross shooting laser now, not the front shooting laser, so we're not worried about this target. Okay? We'll go over to the other side and we'll move that laser to the front. 
We take the laser off, move it up to the steer axle. Once again, putting the strap over the top, making sure you got three o'clock and nine o'clock on your straps, front of the bar, bottom of the bar. Now, once we've got this one set, we're ready to go to the other side and we can zero it out so we can see what the toe is. We have to zero the laser so we can see what the toe is. Now, if you guys come up close here, you'll see the laser's hitting this target, but it's not on the vertical thin line. So we move the laser forward or backward until it reaches the vertical thin line that zeroes it. Now we can go to the other side and see what the real toe is in this axle. Let's go back and see what we got. Now, the big thick line going up and down on this target is a perfect 16th in. You can see it's a little heavy on the 16th line, but the toe setting is not bad at all. Okay. Now, we're done measuring toe. It only took about two minutes. We're done measuring the rear end. There's two more things we have to check on the front end of this truck. One is the setback. To do that, we measure from the front pin on the front end of the leaf spring to the U-bolts on the axle. We compare the measurements side to side. We'd like it within a sixteenth of an inch. This is telling us if the axle is physically square into the truck or if it's mounted in there crooked. The second thing we do is we look at the caster. To do that, we look at the tapered wedges that fit between the axle and the leaf spring that set the caster of the axle. The important thing is that you should have the same wedges on both sides, not one in one way, one in the other, or one missing. As long as the wedging's the same and the setback's the same, we're ready to go on with the rest of the truck.